The sixth parameter is the parameter of wisdom. And of course, the parameter of wisdom is the most important part of the six parameters because it becomes parameter only if you have the wisdom. Parameter means going beyond, meaning that from the samsaric, this side to the enlightened, that side. Paramita means going to the other shore. So therefore, when you have the wisdom, then, or combined with wisdom, that training or that particular, you know, uh, quality or practice becomes the paramita. Now the wisdom is is an understanding, is an understanding, but experiential understanding, uh, knowing exactly how you should act or how you should react. That's the wisdom. The difference between wisdom and knowledge. Knowledge is information. Wisdom is a deep understanding, a practical understanding of how, what to do. Uh, like when you say he's a wise person, Wise person is not only a scholar. Wise person is not just somebody who has lots of information. Wise person is somebody who knows what to do at every time. That's the wise person. So therefore, wisdom means you know what is it. You know how to react. You, you are clear about everything. That's the wisdom. So therefore, when you talk about wisdom, it means you know what it is, who you are. What is it that you are? What is it the, the whole phenomena is? Uh, sometimes we call, you know, if you understand the suchness, the thatness, the, you know, the nature of everything, that's the wisdom. Including your own self, including everything else. So therefore, you know, the more we understand what, what our mind is, how our mind works, what it is that I am, what it is that everything is, like everything is impermanent, interdependent, and from Buddhist point of view, they call that emptiness because you know everything is momentary, and therefore everything is interdependent and changing, and therefore there is nothing really existing on its own. So therefore, we call it emptiness. So therefore, to understand what is it, what's the true nature, ultimate nature of everything is, and to understand that not, not just intellectually, but experientially. When you have that understanding, then you are not, you know, you're not dependent on anything. You, you don't have to rely on anything for your well-being or for happiness. You are independent, you are free. You know that there is nothing that can harm you or that can really crush you. You know that you are okay at any time and every moment because there's nothing you need to uh, you need to get from somebody or something. You don't need to be in a certain situation or with a certain kind of thing that you are dependent on. So therefore, you know, it's full liberation, complete liberation. Paramita. Uh, Mm. You are not, you know, uh, bound or you are not uh, dependent or you are not uh, kind of uh, caught up in anything. And so therefore, when that happens, then you have the parameter of wisdom. And when these all three, four, six parameters, all the six parameters are completed, uh, that's called enlightenment. And so therefore, from the Buddhist point of view, Mahayana Buddhist point of view, the, the practice, the true practice, is in these six parameters. And um, it can be done anywhere. In one act also you can have six parameters, uh, but you can also uh, practice the six parameters one by one. And it is something that you do it in your life. It's not something that is only doing in the monastery or, you know, in a special place or a special time, but that's how you live your life. So that's the six parameters. Oh.